in memory databases are the future because the assumptions under which maybe 30 years ago or 40 years ago traditional databases have been designed and implemented have completely changed. Back then, this disk, the normal hard disk, was the, was the device where to, to store data and people optimized the way how databases function according to this assumption. Now what we see is main memory is there in the same sizes that hardware and uh, hard disk were there back then and now we have not only the case that we have data in the main memory but we also have data within the caches of the CPUs. And this means that we need to have new algorithms that are able to scale parallel in many CPUs and their cores. And we need to have new algorithms that are able to work on optimized data structures that fit into the smallest caches of the CPUs. SAP HANA is our implementation of a highly parallel in-memory column store database that is also including text engines and infrastructure for non-structured and semi-structured data. In data warehousing, the role of HANA is that of the primary data store. It's the, it's the space where we put all the data in. So not necessarily we put all the data in terms of hundreds of terabytes or even petabytes into main memory. We still can have data traditionally put into a, on an SSD drive, for example, but at runtime, we put all the relevant data, the hot data if you want, into main memory and we try to have the power of this infrastructure available for the information consumers that typically sit on top of a data warehouse which is representing the corporate data memory. The connection is between SAP and Samsung in this very area is of course Samsung's um, market leadership in the area of, of memory devices and memory pieces. And not only it is this relationship, uh, it is also a very, very close relationship between the two companies uh, in terms of uh, a customer relationship. Clearly, I think that the future of, of databases is within the in-memory space. So uh, there is a revolution going on on the hardware side and the software side in terms of database has to catch up. And it's clearly that this shift in the hardware must be also happening on the software side. And that's where SAP HANA comes in.